Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 1000 Barrows Chest, truly one of the longest loot videos that I have done so far. Believe it or not, this video did take longer than 100,000 goblins. I believe the goblin video took about 70 hours and this one took just about 105. Now a lot of that was due to all of the Elite Clue Scrolls which you guys will also be seeing in this video, but before we get started, let's get into to today's sponsor. Our sponsor for today's video is none other than Raid Shadow Legends. As you can tell by the preview here, it features some amazing 3D graphics, an intriguing storyline, PvP battles, giant boss fights, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. The detail shown in this game truly does separate it from your average mobile app, one of the most ambitious RPG projects of 2019, and the best part is, it is completely free. Now I myself have never played a mobile app until now and I must say if you guys are interested feel free to check out the description below and download raid only through my link to receive 50,000 silver immediately as well as a free champion as part of the new player program courtesy of the dev team. See you guys there. Now, with that being said, I just want to say a big thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for reaching out, and uh, I really do hope you guys enjoy the game as much as I have so far. Now, let's get into today's video. So, 1000 Barrows Chest. As seen here, we were tracking it through the boss kill log, which can be found under the boss log under the Ring of Wealth settings. Now, I didn't necessarily have to track it through this method. As you guys can see at the bottom left of the chat box, every single Barrows Chest that you do open is tracked, and we did start this video at 1716 chests overall. Now if you're wondering why I had such a high Barrows KC on this main account, it is simply because I've always enjoyed Barrows. You know, it's one of those things that it's very nostalgic. Uh, it was always how I made my money back in the day, especially in around 2009 to 2010. And as well as having 1700 prior KC, I also have 1000 on my Iron Man, as well as all of the items achieved on that account. But it had been a long time since I've been back to Barrows, and I was curious just how much money we could could make from 1,000 chests, as well as how many elite clue scrolls we can expect. You know, there is a huge clue scroll expansion that just came out a few days ago, and I'm sure a lot of people have kind of returned to Barrows to try and track down elite clue scrolls, as it is one of the most popular methods to get elites, right alongside Lava Dragons in the Wilderness, which we have done a loot video on before. Now, I gotta say, we did have a bumpy start to this video. We actually went 53 chests dry before our very first item, or definitely over 50 chests, something like that, and it was actually a DH plate body to break that dry streak, followed by our second unique, which was a Dragon Medhelm. Now, in order to actually receive a Dragon Medhelm, as well as two other uniques, which is a Loop Key and a Tooth Key, your reward potential does have to be over 88%. I believe it actually has to be 100%. That also gives you the ability to get Bolt Racks, which, believe it or not, most people don't really care for these items, because Bolt Racks are not worth much of anything these days, and most of the time, people get Dragon Meds, especially on their Iron Man account, from different things, but if you're ever an Iron Man in need of a Dragon Dragon Medhelm, you can always get one from Barrows. Just keep in mind, you gotta get that reward potential a little bit higher than the average, which I would say the average from talking to a lot of people this week would be 88%, and the reason for this is because all you have to do to receive 88% reward potential is kill three skeletons in the tunnel, and that's pretty fast to do and pretty memorable as well. Now, once you get 88%, that is the maximum amount of runes that you can receive, which can be anywhere from a lot of chaos, blood, death, or pretty much all of them at the same time. You also receive mine runes, but as you guys will see, towards the end of the price check, the mine runes really don't, you know, add up to much, but I guess it's nice to just collect over time. Now, I'm sure most of you guys know this, but for anyone who doesn't, if you do have the Mortania Hard Diaries completed, then you will receive 50% more runes while searching any Barrow's chest for the rest of your runescape life. Now, if you know anything about me, I absolutely despise doing diaries and quests, and I'll probably never have either of those capes, but I must say, I would never do Barrow's without having the diaries complete. Honestly, the requirements for Mortania Hard are not that out of reach for any account and it is so beneficial and you guys will definitely see that once you see all of the runes add up. Now a common misconception that people actually have about Mortania Hard is that you have to be wearing the legs or have the legs that you receive from the diary rewards in your inventory in order to get these 50% more runes. However, I can confirm that you do not need them in your inventory. You do not need to be wielding them as long as you have the diaries completed then you are set to receive that 50% bonus. Now as it pertains to how I was killing all the Barrows brothers, I kept it pretty simple. You know, 
you can pretty much use any type of gear here. You'll see some people using Void, some people kind of rushing through, saving their energy using Graceful. Uh, some people prefer Prayer Gear so they can save some Prayer Points. And of course, uh, some people use Tank Gear so that they never really have to worry about dying or getting any damage in the tunnel. However, I just went with a basic Trident of the Swamp and Full Ancestral as well as an Arcane Spirit Shield uh, just to increase my accuracy on the Barrows Brothers. However, these Barrows Brothers have zero magic defense, so it really doesn't matter. As you guys can see in that clip there, that guy had full rune on. Some people bring Dehide. It really doesn't matter. There's such low defense that you can always hit pretty accurately on them. So I would say there is no specific budget in order to do this. Uh, really, you can use anywhere from 50k gear to 50 mil gear, and you'll pretty much always have decent DPS, uh, whether you decide to use a Trident of the Seas, Trident of the Swamp. There's also a common weapon to use here called an Ibid Staff. Uh, Ibid's Blast is very popular for Iron Man accounts, and it's actually better XP than using a Trident is when it comes to magic. So Iron Man or Hardcore Iron Man can get their magic level up pretty uh, progressively while they're getting all the Barrow sets for their account. And of course, Ultimate Iron Man too. Can't forget about those guys. I do recommend using magic on all of the brothers. However, you can always bring a special attack weapon for either Carols or Arams. Most people like to use a special attack on Carols just to get it down pretty fast. And then they prefer to use a range attack on Arams, which I always brought my blowpipe for this. And of course, I used the blowpipe while I was in the tunnel in order to get my reward potential up because, you know, Dragon Claws as a spec attack definitely did the job uh, for the fast kills, but, you know, you don't want to use that as a main weapon while you're killing the skeletons or the other monsters in the tunnel. Now, at this point in the video, I did receive my second double chest, which was a duplicate Carol's Coif as well as a duplicate DH Plate Leg. This was really nice to see, though, seeing as, you know, multiple double chests always kind of increase the motivation uh, and, you know, dry streaks always do occur, so it's nice to kind of break them uh, with not only one item, but two at the same time. And it is possible to get three items, and I do believe it's possible to even get four, uh, maybe even more, I'm not too sure about that, but I have seen some pretty crazy pictures about some pretty crazy Barrow's chest, so feel free to leave in the comment section below your luckiest Barrow's chest of all time, uh, definitely curious about that. And chest number 2038 was my back-to-back -back chest, uh, that only did happen, I believe, twice throughout the video, not too often do I see back-to-back, -back. uh, it's very rare, however, you know, it's different for everybody, some people see insane luck, and some people not so much. Something worth pointing out, I did start this video using a brimstone ring and barrows gloves, and I did keep the ring on the whole entire time because a brimstone ring is essentially magic, range, and melee all in one, and since I was using all three forms of combat, I figured why not. However, I did end up switching my barrows gloves after I think chest number three to 400 for a tormented bracelet, and the reason for that is because although I didn't need more accuracy than I already did have, I figured if my trident was going to hit higher, I would just get faster kills per hour with the brothers, so I figured, you know, if you do have the money, uh, Tormented Bracelet's definitely useful here, as well as an Imbued Heart, but again, these are not necessary, just kind of suggested if you have a big bank, or if your Iron Man has these items already unlocked. As the Barrows tab was coming along nicely, surprisingly, we actually did see one of our best Elite Clue Scroll rewards of the series so far, which is right here, none other than the Fury Ornament Kit. On our 138th Elite, we did receive it, and I know that doesn't seem like a lot, you know, 2 mil, but if you guys remember all the Elite Clues of this video, as as well as all the past loot videos, really haven't had that much to offer, so it is actually nice and relieving to see something different than, you know, 100k. And also, if you guys are curious as to why you may see some random things throughout this video, you know, whether it's a lucky Empling sighting or a bunch of flowers being planted that say no slep, not no sleep, but hey man, close enough. Uh, this was all live streamed on Twitch, and, uh, you know, like I said, I tried to do as many Barrows chests as I could in a one week to a week and a half period, and believe it or not, I actually did my very first 30 hours stream of 2019 and that was all barrows the whole entire time and in those 30 hours I did actually manage to do about 320 barrows chests so I did get a lot done and a big shout out to everybody who was on twitch chilling in the live streams do appreciate that and if you guys ever want to come by I usually am live every night not really trying to advertise it but that is where the magic happens as it pertains to these loot videos that's where all the clips get gathered so kind of a behind the scenes if you will uh you know as it pertains to finishing this video and here we are with our third double chest of the vid, this time a Guthans body as well as a DH axe. This was our very first Guthans piece, and you can kind of tell over 500 chests deep and still not even one set completed. Definitely a lot of placeholders, but we were seeing the right type of placeholders. You know, the Aram's top, the DH body, the Carol's top. Certainly seeing a lot of the high priced items, and you know, we certainly can't complain about seeing a high priced duplicate. I'm sure somebody in the comment section will bring this up, but if you're curious as to why I was using Barrow's teleport tabs rather than using the Archaeus spellbook or maybe using a fairy ring and then running and then boarding a boat 
to reach Barrows. Mainly, I just wanted this video to be as fast as possible. Now, I know Arceus Spellbook is virtually the same exact speed as the teleport tabs, but what can I say? For some odd reason, I was on the normal spellbooks the whole entire video, and I just preferred using the Barrows tabs. Now, these Barrows tabs sit around 3 to 5k each these days, and I definitely don't recommend you use them. Uh, it's really just for lazy people like myself. The best method to get back and forth from Barrows, I would say, is using the teleport directly to there while you were on the Arceus spellbook. Of course, this does require a certain magic level as well as Favor and Zaya, so that is something to keep in mind. And if you happen to be an Iron Man and, you know, you don't have either of these methods available, you can always use a Fairy Ring and then, of course, run from there. At this point in the video, we were just about 600 chests in and we did reach just about over 100,000 Chaos Runes as well as almost a quarter of a million Mind Runes. And again, keep in mind, this is with the Mortania Hard, so it kind of gives you just a rough estimate of what Chaos Runes you can expect from Barrows as well as our first set being completed at chest number 2361. Of course, in the video, this was chest number 645, which is actually kind of crazy to go all those chests without not a single set. But as I mentioned before, you know, we certainly were seeing a lot of duplicates, and luckily for me, they were the right type. But, you know, the luck kind of continued after this, and we finally got that Carol's Crossbow, this being the second Barrow set being completed with a full Carol's, and now a full DH set. You know, speaking of DH, I figured I'd show you guys this clip. You know, this happened last night. I had to relieve some stress after this 1,000 Barrows chest grind. We will get back to the video here in a second. But this is truly an example of just how powerful this Barrows armor can be at low HP. Keep in mind, at the low HP mark, you can hit much higher, that being a massive hit. And quite frankly, the only thing more massive than the hit in this fight was the loot in this fight. I know I'm certainly no spark back, but I must say DH, no matter who's wearing it, can pull off some pretty incredible things. So shout out to that guy, and more importantly, shout out to that 90. All right, back to the chests. You know, I always try to appeal to the PKing side of the community. I know it's only one clip, but hey, man, it's a pretty awesome clip if you ask me. So something else that might be raised in the comment section below is why did I bring super combat potions and super restores? And I just want to touch on this a little bit. Uh, you never really need to bring potions to Barrows. Uh, you know, certainly bringing combat potions is worth it, but I would never invest money in super combats. Maybe you can bring supersets, but me personally, as I mentioned before, I just wanted to finish this video as fast as possible, so making sure that that claw spec that I would use on Arums every single time would, you know, hit more than expected, uh, that's kind of why I brought the super combats, but not necessary at all to bring those or to bring any restores. Here we are at over 700 Barrows chests completed, and we did end up finishing the Torag set as our third set overall, receiving, of course, the Torag helmet last, which is pretty good considering we got some placeholder legs as well well as placeholder bodies. Uh, you know, I was seeing a lot of elite clues and I touched on this before, but if you ever want to get elites, Barrows is definitely the place to be. When you're not getting an item, you're at least making 500k an hour just from the runes, and I believe that's after the cost of supplies. Again, that is if you're using a trident, averaging about 10 to 12 chests per hour. And lovely chest number 762 of the video, we finally did get that Varrock Helm, meaning that we have completed all but two sets now, and the only two remaining sets that we have not completed at this point was Guthans and Arums. And the best thing about our Varrock set was the most common item was the skirt and all of the duplicates, which is the most valued of the whole set. So, you know, again, like I mentioned before, we were getting the right RNG as it pertains to these duplicates. Speaking of which, the multiple DH plate legs, another high valued item uh, since DH is, I think, one of the most expensive Barrow sets, if not the most expensive one as of right now. I remember back when 07 first came out, Guthan Spears were selling for 7 mil and, uh, you know, oh, how times have changed. Now I believe it's under one. And here we are kind of wrapping up the video with yet again another Carol's Top, one of the most uh, high-valued Barrow's items. I feel like I always say that throughout this video, but yeah, just uh, a lot of luck with the uh, duplicates as well as another double chest. So yeah, more Carol's coming in this time, the leather skirt as well as the coif. I do believe more than half of my double chest all involved a Carol's coif. All too relatable. And here we are with our Guthan Spear, the first of the video, the former most expensive Barrow's item of all time, topping pretty much any item in history as it pertains to Barrow's sets in this game. Well, now it's less than a mil, and, you know, right after we got the spear, we actually managed to get the skirt. So we did finish our fifth and 
almost final Barrow set. Not quite though, as you guys know, we did need to still finish Arams just by missing the hood at this point. You guys will see towards the end, the collection log will show the same as the bank tab does. But yeah, you know, it was really nice to finish almost all the Barrow sets. And uh, you know, at this point, just kind of seeing some duplicates here and there. The coin stack from all these chests was at over 1 mil now. The Chaos Runes hovering at close to 150,000. And uh, you know, just the Death Runes slowly reaching 100,000. Really crazy to see the amount of runes just in just Barrow's chest really kind of opens your eyes to the fact that if you have these diaries done, you can really benefit from quite a lot just with the runes. Now, if you're curious about how much supplies was spent in this video, strictly just speaking, of course, about the Trident charges, every single time I did charge my Trident, I did get it on video, but, you know, due to the length of the video, I didn't want to put all those clips in. However, I am in the process of pretty much adding up all of the times that I did charge my Trident, and you guys will get the total amount of supplies used at the very end of the video. Also, shout out to that guy. He was the only person that I saw die at Barrows, of course, other than myself, which I did end up dying one time throughout these 1,000 chests, and of course, it was from DH. And here we go with another double chest, this time a Guthin Spear and Torag's helmet. Very, very nice, and just about 11 chests later, guess what? Another double chest, another Guthin Spear, and this time a DH plate body. So yeah, a lot of luck. I gotta say, the only thing better than getting one Barrows item from a chest is getting two, and you know, of course, getting three and so on, but uh, again, never did see a triple chest throughout this video, but uh, to wrap things up, you know, did receive kind of the lower tier items as duplicates towards the end. The very last chest of the video, I did decide to use my favorite set of Barrow's armor, which was full DH. Don't worry, I did buy this. I didn't uh, use it from the actual armor, and yeah, I did finish the video. 1,000 chests complete. Of course, a big shout out to every single person who was there with me. A uh, big shout out to the Twitch chat. I did throw it there, so a lot of people saying hello to you guys on YouTube. Uh, really is cool, man. Really is nice to kind of do this uh, with a community. I was always in World 444, and there was always a lot of people with me. All right, so not wasting any time. All of the runes, the racks, and the coins do come out to be a nice 65 mil just in runes and bolt racks. And again, you know, I wouldn't really focus so much on the coins or the bolt racks, but everything does truly add up over time. And keep in mind, this was all done with the diaries completed. If you're curious as to what it would be without the diaries, simply minus 50% of the runes, and there's your answer. Now, all of the items, since, you know, Barrow's items have gone down over the years, did come out to be approximately 43.7 mil. And if you add both of the amounts from the amounts of runes towards the amount of all of the items, you do receive just about 108.7 mil from 1,000 Barrow's chests. Now, according to my calculations, we did use just over 32,000 death runes, chaos runes, and Zora scales, meaning that we spent just about 18 mil in supplies. And if you subtract that from the overall profit, you are down to 90.7 mil in just about 1,000 Barrows chests. So that's not too bad, guys. What do you think? 900k profit per hour on average, including just about 5 mil in Elite Clue Scroll rewards. Always nice to see some profit, and I gotta be honest with you, I really did enjoy this Barrows grind. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed doing it, and I will see you in the next grind, most likely 1,000 Kraken. Thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.